Do you have a Google Voice account? Would you like a way to use it other than having to use your smartphone or tablet? Well, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ryan Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about setting up your Google Voice account to use a Polycom OBI 200 adapter. This is going to let you use your hardwired phones with it instead of just your smartphone or tablet. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Now here's what we're covering in this video, and that's using Google Voice with the OBI 200, now marketed by Poly. And we're going to talk about the required items. We're going to go about testing the Poly OBI 200 to make sure it's ready to go before you start trying to get it hooked up to Google Voice. And then we'll go about getting Google Voice configured on OBI 200. Trust me, this couldn't be easier. This is actually part one of a series. The next one I plan to do relating to this one is showing you how to get Google Voice talking on a 3CX. But for those who are not going on the path, I wanted to make sure you knew about this one to make it a little bit easier. We've got to go over the required items to start with. That's going to be pretty easy because there's really only two, maybe three things you're going to need. So let's first bring up BI 200 adapter. Now, this is what's going to allow you to connect Google Voice to this device. Now, if you've got an older OBI 200, probably not going to work because they've not been keeping the firmware up. Now, this is one I just got a few weeks ago, and we're going to go through the process. Should be very straightforward. And then some sort of single line phone. Now, if you've got wireless phones over the house with a base station that controls them all, you can use that too. So this is going to be just one way of getting started. We're first going to go through kind of an abbreviated checkout on it just to make sure we're okay. Then we'll go configuring the OBI 200. Now, this is all leading up to eventually tying this in to a 3CX PBX on a Raspberry Pi. You've seen me do some other videos on that. And this way you can get Google Voice to work on the 3CX and it gives you one more provider. Now, all we've got to do is you start off with following the directions in here. Very straightforward. Plug it in. You'll make a test call to an echo system and that's going to let you hear your audio come back. So if you're talking out and then you hear it come back. That's two-way audio. So that says you don't have to do anything with your firewalls and everything appears to be good. So it goes through and takes you step by step what to do. There's a special test number you will call in here. That's going to get you up and running. The next step is we'll set up an account on OBTalk. Should be a firmware update somewhere in the process. Let's go ahead and get on to the next step and get this up and running for you. I've already got the account created on OBTalk's website. There is a verification process you'll have to go through. It takes just a few minutes. should pop into your email account. Account. Make sure that your workstation and the OBI 200 device from Poly, I sometimes will say Polycom, but it's Poly is their, their proper legal name now. Make sure they're on the same network. So in going into it, we will say add device. We're going to say, yes, we want to configure Google Voice on this device. It shows you how you've got to have it wired up. So very straightforward. Then we'll pick up the phone here and we'll go star star five two nine three one. So now we can have, we've gotten a message back that everything is good to go there. The one thing you cannot do with this device is call 911 because they can't lock it down to an address with the way they've done this. So that's fine. We'll click on accept and we will log in to OBTalk. Let's go back to my dashboard. There it is. Okay, so this has the latest firmware. That's why I wasn't able to find a firmware update. Okay, we're going to delete the device because I think something kind of got hung up in the process. All right, so we've deleted the device. We'll go through add the device. Click on next. Star star five six six two seven okay so now we're good let's try the admin password we haven't changed that we will say never on that and then we'll click accept okay for some reason google didn't want to give us the terms of service so we'll say accept okay google voice apparently it may be my firewall that's in the place in in place of that okay so configuration of google voice we're going to do phone one. Okay, that's fine. So we're not going to use the device for a security system. Okay, that's fine. We're not going to, I'm going to assume 10 digit dialing on everything. So we'll finish setup 
and then we need to get logged into my Google Voice account. Okay, I had to start briefly there because I thought I had a different account. So I've already got Google Voice set up. If you don't have it set up, then just go to voice.google.com and that should get you right through the process. So we'll click on allow because we got to give it permissions. And then we will confirm yet again. And once the little squirrely wheel quits going around, then it's configuring. You should see right down at the bottom of the screen. So this is easier than what I was expecting, but still I'm treating this as a separate piece because you want to get this up and running before you try getting it in to a 3CX. And it actually is configuring the device right now. I'm looking at it and it's in the process of doing some of its work on the OBI 200 because it is, it's, it's the, the lights are coming up in a, in a different order from what we thought. So it should be finished here. Okay, registration not required. Okay, so Google Voice. All right, so now we've got it up and running. And let me shift over here and we will see about calling my smartphone since I can tie that in here and we'll shift over here. Okay, there we go. So that's working. So really that's very straightforward. So we've got it talking one way. We can go back here and we'll place a phone call to it because you really should try both ways just to be on the safe side okay that immediately rang through hello okay so i'm hearing the audio from the other phone okay then that's that's up and running really that could not have been any more straightforward so you can see here it says registration is not required but it, we did have to give permissions and everybody's happy so we've got service provider one on here did not have to do any firmware updates so that's a good thing uh, make sure that you get your uh, time zone set up in here not going to worry about that there's the serial number the mac address should match and you can have multiple providers and this is for step one so the next thing we're going to do is actually set this up for a 3cx to talk to it i've got to get another device for that to happen i'm going to try several different ways one i'm going to use a, a an ata gateway to plug in so that i'm using the same analog port on the phone that our single line phone is and then once we've done that, because there's several ways you can tie in to 3CX and the OBI 200, and then I'll actually try a what's called a SIP trunk connection. But anyway, that's all it takes. Very straightforward. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. See you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.